What's up YouTube? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Today I'm with my buddy Scott and uh, we decided to head to the Gulf Coast. So we just drove out to some random point we picked on a map and we're pretty excited when we got here and we found a bunch of palm fronds and shotgun shells. So it seems like we picked a good spot. We got about 35 minutes till shooting light. So we're gonna get the decoys out and uh, hopefully we can shoot some ducks. We'll see what happens. There's Doug. Coming this way. Hey guys, before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to remind you guys that we have an awesome giveaway going on right now. We're giving away this Winchester SXP pump action shotgun. And not only are we giving this shotgun away, but we're taking it over to uh, FC Hydro Printing and they're going to put a, uh, a custom dip on the shotgun and make it whatever camo you choose if you are the winner. On top of that, we're also going to be giving away an outfit from Florida Camo, which you can see right here, and a Woodhaven custom turkey call since we got turkey season coming up. So if you're interested in winning any of these items, make sure you go down in the description. There's a link there that's going to take you to the Viral Sweeps page where you can sign up completely free for this giveaway. All right, so we just got set up. The sun's coming up. I know you guys can't really see me, but... Uh... Right as we started setting up our stuff in the blind, a big flock came flying by at about 100 yards. So we figure once there's a little more light, hopefully they'll see our decoys and uh, they'll come in. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> oh, there's another one just picked up off that raft. That raft's breaking apart. Yeah. They're flying really low to the water. It looked like they were heading in this general direction. Here comes another flock flying low close to the beach. See him? So I'm just trying something a little different here. We keep having birds flying like right along the shoreline. We're set up right on this cove, like just right back there. You can see the blind, but they keep flying right here. So I'm just gonna lay down in this grass. I got a couple palm fronds. I'm just gonna lay them on top of me. And I'm basically just gonna try and like lay out on them. As they come flying by, I'm gonna see if I can pop one. Always beware of an outgoing tide. Well, I'm glad I went and checked on the boat when I did. This tide is going down. We would have to drag it all the way from there. And I don't even know how far I gotta go before I get some slightly deeper water. There's nowhere to put the boat. It's gonna be dry. That entire cove is gonna be dry soon. Our decoys are just about on the land. So it's kind of thinking, do you wanna like pick up and move and find a Honestly, like, I feel like we need to keep the boat kind of close. We can cover it with palm fronds. 
Because when we shoot one and we gotta go after it, you gotta chase it with the boat. Alright, so basically what we've done, it's kind of funny, uh, we've just seen a lot of ducks flying just right off the coast, and, you know, we were sitting back there, but they're, as the, redhead. nice, we got a redhead, oh yeah, here comes another flock, alright, so as I was saying, there's like, as the tide went out, these rocks started popping up, and we just figured, we'll just go sit out on these rocks, and just, we'll look like rocks. And it's working. Like, he just shot a redhead right there. Hell yeah, that's the first bird. And, uh, you know, we got the decoys right here. We're just sitting here looking out. And it's like, everywhere you look, you see a flock. And uh, so I got a feeling we're going to shoot something. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Nice hen. That's awesome. I've never seen a redhead before in my life. That's a dude, for being a hen, beautiful bird. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Making some coffee, making some breakfast. Meanwhile, we've been sitting out there trying to shoot ducks and they wouldn't come near us. And, and as soon as we leave, there's about 200 ducks sitting right next to where we were. So apparently we're the worst hunters on the coast. What do you think of your first Gulf Coast hunt? Not the most productive with the ducks, but we damn sure did a good job with the breakfast. I think it's been productive as hell for the ducks. We just haven't been able to shoot them. That's our fault. Yeah. We, we found the spot though. We came from over there. As you'll notice, there's no water. So, kind of stuck here for now. Here comes a smaller flock. See what I'm saying? They see us. They know something's up. They're flying right over the top of the boat right now. Is that too far? Don't shoot your boat. It's still alive. I need another shell. I just dove. one come back up you ain't got nowhere to go all right he's got god damn how is he still going i'm about to run out of shells You missed. That's it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Good way to end it. That's a great way to end it. Yeah, look at that beak. That's a creepy duck. 
coming. Yeah, we gotta have number two next time. Um, all right, guys, so we just uh, literally got up to leave. I was picking up the last of our stuff to go back to the boat. I turn around and there's two ducks right in our faces. I turn around and I managed to knock one down. And uh, people say diver ducks are tough as hell. Like that was crazy. I think we put 10 shells into that bird trying to knock it down once it was crippled. But anyway, so we both get to leave with two or with one duck. Uh, he got the redhead, I got a common merganser. Um, but don't go away just yet. Um, when we get in the car, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we learned on this hunt. Uh, Cause really, even though we didn't do a lot of killing, we learned a lot. And I think next time we come out, we're gonna do a lot better. And maybe we can help you guys do a little better on your first try. So in the meantime, hit the like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in just a sec. So, the tide finally came up and we headed back, but it turns out the creek we launched from is still dry. So there's duck coming this way. So as I was saying, we uh, started seeing a bunch of ducks flying the coast. So we just came across the bay here and we're set up on an island. There's an old blind here. And we're just waiting for the tide to come in, but there's still ducks flying. So we might kill one. We'll see. so close to these oysters. Where do I go? What? You think? Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't go yeah. fast. Oh! my life. This is, I feel like this is a bad idea. So that skag is for. We're so close. Oh, my poor boat. My poor paint. Alright guys, so it's like kind of late in the afternoon. Uh, it was kind of a show getting out of there. Uh, one thing we definitely learned is that we really got to pay attention to the tides when we're doing these coastal hunts because we just weren't able to leave until the tide came back in. Uh, the creek where we launched just was dry. So, but, um, you know, this was kind of an exploratory mission and pretty stoked to find ducks. Like we, we were, you know, I basically my, my goal when I, when I picked the spot was just like, I wanted to get on a point that stuck out further than any other points because I figure, you know, these birds are flying down the coast, down 
south, uh, they're migrating, and so if we stick out more than any other point, I just figured there was a higher chance that we would see them. You know, not even if they were like necessarily flying over us, but like just seeing them in general, so we'd kind of know where they were going. But it turned out that they were flying right over us, and it was awesome. You know, good visibility out there. Yeah, we could. I mean, I mean how many birds do you think we saw today? Like fifteen hundred, at least. I'd say like ninety percent of them were probably redheads. So you know, it was it was pretty awesome. We were pretty damn excited, and uh, I think we learned a lot for the next time that we do it. So, you know, what are, like, what are, you, what are some of the things you do differently next time? <coughs> yeah, you're the only person here. <laughs> I, would, I would try to hunt, uh, definitely play the tides, know what the tides are doing. Uh, yeah, because like, when we started, the water was right in front of us and we had great cover. No. Like they couldn't see us at all. We were sitting in that blind. But within an hour, the water was like a hundred yards away. Yeah, you're definitely uh, looking at some nautical charts to. I think you know, finding the, a deeper spot. Read, yeah, considering like, all right, what happens on a low tide? Am I going to be able to get out of here? But just, I think more than just am I going to be able to get out of here? Like, are the am I going to be able to have decoys right in front of me and still have cover? Oh yeah. And the cover is like the I think the biggest thing that we dealt with today because. Once we lost the cover of like having a blind, we just, we couldn't get the birds to come close enough because they were just seeing us all the time. Like we were sitting down in the water, we were pretending to be rocks, we were sitting on rocks, you know, but it was like, no matter what we did, they would just stay just outside of range. I think if we had better cover, whether it was like a layout boat or, you know, just being in the blind, I think that was everything. I will say that with the cover, the palmettos, I don't know are that really effective. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you kept saying, like, because it's like wherever they see palm fronds, it's like. They kind of veer away from it. Yeah. Like, th so, there's no way they were seeing us, no. but they're seeing those palm fronds and they just. They associate it with yeah. hunters. I uh, mean, they've been flying for like thousands of miles down the coast, and it's like every time they cross a point, and well, there's some palmettos sitting oh, yeah, some they palm fronds. Quickly, they get shot at. Quickly pick that up, you know. Yeah. So I think you're almost better off just like laying, laying down in the, in the grass, no. covering yourself up with whatever's there, and just hunting in that. I mean, if you're hunting like I think like <laughs> reeds or lilies, they might palm fronds might be more effective. Yeah. But when you're hunting like the coast where it's yeah, there's no palms. where it's tan grass, and then you throw up. You know, freshly cut green palm fronds. I don't it's think like, it really works that well. On the one hand, it sticks out like a sore thumb. But on the other hand, when we were out in the water and you look back, you're like, man, that's a good looking blind. But it must stand out to them because they were avoiding them like like the plague. You know, I mean, I think the, the layout boats like definitely would be the best situation if you can do that. But not everybody has that ability. So... If you don't have the ability to run a layout boat, I think your best bet would be to like try and hunt the high tide when the water's up against the cover. And and I think that the afternoon is where it's at. You know, at night they're trying to find a raft to roost up because we saw a raft of like four or 500 birds first thing in the morning. And within, within the first 30 minutes of daylight, just the flocks kept breaking off of it, and before you knew it, it was gone. Yep. So, at, at, in the evening, it seems like that's when they're going to be looking for flocks, and that's when your decoys are really going to pull them in. Throw a big spread if you can. The bigger, the better with yeah. divers, obviously. You know. And, yeah. That's what's going to bring them in. So, I think next time we do this, we're really going to focus on hunting in the evenings and maybe just fishing in the mornings, you know. So... But anyway, it was a blast. It was kind of a show, quite an adventure. We shot some birds, and uh, I had a great time. So, um, hopefully, you guys find this stuff helpful. Um, if you got any questions, drop them down below. Honestly, there's like not a lot of information about doing this style of hunting, uh, so we're more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And if you do this kind of hunting more often, and you have some tips for us drop a comment down below as well like we'd, we'd love to learn because it's really a first time doing it so with that hit the like button 
make sure you subscribe to the channel um and pretty soon we got like another month of duck season and then uh we're gonna be rolling into turkey season and we're gonna get after those so plenty of good stuff to come so peace out catch you guys next time